In today's show, we're going to be taking a look at solutions for cooling your home. Join us as we explore five incredible solutions that can create temperature differences of up to 20 degrees Celsius without the use of electricity, even in places where temperatures soar above 50 degrees Celsius. This is especially noteworthy when you consider the fact that 44% of home energy usage goes towards heating and cooling the home. In this video, we're going to take a look at some ingenious ancient methods to modern innovations for lowering inside temperatures. The top five environmentally friendly ways to cool your home. So let's get into it. And number five is one of the most crucial elements for keeping the home cool, and that's design. Did you know a modern London skyscraper known as the walkie talkie had earned a reputation for its death ray reflection which had been melting cars and burning businesses. This is an example of how modern buildings are not only hot boxes from within, but can also increase the outside temperature. And then when you add air conditioning into the mix, which blows out hot air, the temperature on the street is going to be hotter by at least four degrees Celsius more, putting cities in a vicious cycle, having to battle with the heat island effect and using more energy to cool down buildings. It seems insane that our modern preferences is actually increasing the heat challenges that we face today. However, humans have been perfecting building techniques for thousands of years and finding ingenious ways to keep them cool. To the dimensions of buildings such as high ceilings to circulate air, to front porches to create shade, and courtyard designs that block the sun. There are even ingenious inventions such as wind towers, to create the effect of an AC unit without using electricity. But unless you have the resources to build your own house, you might not have a choice as to how your home is designed. But don't fret, there are many options to improve your situation without having to start from the ground up, which we will go through step by step in the remaining top ways to cool your home, which brings us to the number four spot. This method has the ability to reduce temperatures by 5 degrees to 20 degrees Celsius, which is quite considerable, but the level of temperature reduction depends on the type of home you have, what the weather is like, and what kind of insulation you install. With proper insulation, you will not only be able to keep the heat in during the winter, but you can also keep the cool air inside during the summer. This can help reduce your cooling and heating costs by over 40%. Though installing installation can be expensive, on average, it pays for itself within six years. But not all installation is created equal. Generic types of insulation emit massive amounts of greenhouse gases and are made with petrochemicals, hydrofluorocarbons, known as HFCs. These are around 1,400 times worse than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas, making them an environmental disaster. So before you go booking your next home renovation project, make sure to choose an eco-friendly option. And there are quite a few to choose from, but the one that hits the top spot for the most environmentally friendly is denim. And no, I don't mean stapling your old jeans to the wall. In fact, these denim bats resemble regular insulation, but it's blue instead of pink or yellow. These blue fluffy bats are actually made with recycled jeans and they are treated with Class A fire-rated borate-based flame retardant, which also prevents the growth of fungi and bacteria. Although they can be a little more expensive, it's well worth the extra cost, considering one pallet of R13 denim insulation covering a total of 16,740 square inches costs around $824. Whereas one pallet of comparably sized R13 fiberglass insulation costs about $750. So even though fiberglass is slightly cheaper, it's nowhere near as environmentally friendly. It's difficult to install, releases irritant fibers into the air, and is not a recyclable material, getting sent to landfill after use. Unlike denim, which is easier and safer to install, it can also be recycled post-use. Insulating your home will also make the space more comfortable throughout the year as you enjoy a consistent indoor temperature. In many cases, it will eliminate condensation on the walls and ceilings. Ultimately, it's a great way of improving energy efficiency in your home. But it's not just the inside of your house that you can make improvements to. 
By making some adjustments to the exterior, you will not only reduce the temperature inside your home, but you will also be making a huge difference to the street on where you live, and even your whole neighborhood or city. So if you enjoy helping the wider community and making a bold statement, then option number three may be for you. Green roofs not only look cool, but feel cool too. Since the temperature of green roofs have been proven to be 30 to 40 Fahrenheit lower than those of conventional roofs, and they can reduce city-wide ambient temperatures by up to 5 degrees Fahrenheit. In fact, on hot summer days, the surface temperature of green roofs can be cooler than the air temperature, whereas the surface of conventional rooftops can be up to 90 Fahrenheit or 50 degrees Celsius warmer. During the summer, a green roof protects your home from direct solar heat, increasing comfort inside the home, and if you're equipped with air conditioning, it can reduce your cooling loads by as much as 75%. A green roof typically lasts between 35 to 50 years, increasing your roof's lifespan and eclipsing several other more conventional solutions. They also contribute to cleaner air and provide more habitat for biodiversity, helping out our essential pollinators. Green roofs are initially more costly than conventional roofs and they do need to be properly installed with planning permission. But in the end, they can save you a considerable amount of money, especially when covered over large surface areas. But if green's not your thing and you prefer more high-tech options, then you might want to consider what's right below your feet. At the number two spot, we're taking advantage of the Earth's constant underground temperature. Utilizing the Earth's thermal dynamics isn't a modern concept. For centuries, we have been using ingenious ways to cool the home right from underneath us. Some include having a body of cold water below the home, though nowadays these methods might not be that practical for our modern way of life. That's where geothermal heat pumps come in, or ground source heat pumps. They are able to heat, cool, and even supply hot water to the home, and can cut energy bills by up to 65% compared to traditional AC units. Central AC systems have a reputation for being noisy, but it's no secret why they're as loud as they are. They're fighting a perpetual uphill battle against science by forcing indoor heat to be absorbed into the hot outdoors, and in the process, consume massive amounts of electricity. However, GHB systems are much quieter because they direct the hot indoor air into the cool ground, where heat transfer occurs naturally. Although installation costs are up to several times more expensive, they pay themselves back over time in energy savings, typically within 10 years. They have an extremely long lifespan. Unfortunately, like AC, geothermal cooling runs on electricity and uses refrigerant in the heat transfer process to cool an entire home. Since the majority of gases used in refrigerants are hydrofluorocarbons, remember, they're those HFC petrochemicals that are used in conventional insulation. But it does use a lot less refrigerant than an AC unit. If you want to avoid using it altogether, you might want to consider our number one tip for cooling your home, which doesn't use electricity and doesn't have to cost a packet. At the number one spot is the power of natural ventilation, which is the use of environmentally friendly systems that do not require any automated or mechanical solutions. In addition to being more ecological, natural ventilation is also more cost efficient and relies on natural external factors such as the wind, the temperature of the interior space, and its surroundings. When done properly, it can reduce temperatures by at least 5 degrees Celsius. Opening windows is a common way people try to cool buildings, but air inside will be just as hot as air outside. In fact, the simplest way to keep heat out is with good insulation and well-positioned windows. Since the sun is high in the summer, external horizontal shading such as overhangs louvres and awnings are really effective. The Department of Energy says the smart management of window coverings can reduce heat gain by up to 77%. And as a bonus, these same practices can reduce heat loss in the winter. East and west facing windows are more difficult to shade. Blinds and curtains are not great as they block the view and daylight. And if they are positioned inside the window, the heat actually enters the building. For this reason, external shutters, like those often seen in old buildings in France and Italy, are preferable. Incorporating trees in well-positioned spots around your home will not only provide shade, but most importantly, create a natural air conditioning effect. Trees cool the air by a process known as transpiration cooling. 
As trees release water into the atmosphere from their leaves, via transpiration, the surrounding air is cooled as water goes from liquid to vapor. When planting a tree, it's important to be aware of the prevailing wind. Depending where you plant it, it can help direct wind into your house. Even in places with high humidity, using trees can be an extremely effective way to protect your home from direct heat and sunlight. Though the major complaint about passive cooling methods is that they can only do so much. But when combined with the use of other methods, such as green roofs, insulation, and an intentionally designed home, it can actually be extremely effective. So let us know in the comments which solution is your favorite. And if you want to be involved in sustainable projects, make sure to check out our website with this link here.